Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to be doing a swimwear review and try on haul from some of my favorite rave clothing companies. Yes, some rave and festival brands have started making swimwear, which some could argue that you could wear these outfits to either a rave or to the beach, but we're going to talk about that today. So I purchased six different bathing suits from five different rave clothing companies. I'm a big fan of all of these brands and I've worn outfits from all of them to events before. So I really wanted to try out their new swimwear collections and I'm gonna try everything on today. I'm gonna pop up videos next to me so you guys can see what the fit looks like, what the outfit looks like on me. And then I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on each of the outfits, what I like, what I don't like, what I would change, and just in general, what I think about festival companies now making swimwear lines. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. All right, up first is Rave With Me Hente. Rave With Me Hente is a very big rave clothing company. A lot of people know this brand. I've worn some of her outfits before to music festivals and I was really excited to see her pivot to swimwear. She also did some outfits that are more athleisure or things you can wear to work out. So this bikini I got is the Aqua Ribbed Bikini Set. It's this beautiful color. Aqua is like my favorite color, so I love this. And the material, is this ribbed texture, which is really, really nice. So I got a small in the top and I got a small in the bottoms. The bottoms are pretty high-waisted and they have her signature scrunch butt, which is one of my favorite cuts on her rave bottoms. So in general, I love the material of this. I have to be honest with you guys. It is extremely stretchy and comfortable. Again, knowing her rave wear, I knew it was gonna fit really well. The scrunch butt is probably out of all of them my favorite bottoms. It makes your butt look so good. I don't know what it is about it, but I just think the style on your bottom looks incredible. And it's high-waisted, which I like. My midsection is my least favorite part about myself, so I do like a little bit more coverage in the middle. The one thing about the top, which is gonna be a common theme with all of these bikini tops, is it's not padded. So if you're bigger on top like me, it obviously doesn't offer a tremendous amount of support because it's just a string bikini and there is no padding, so you can see right through the top. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> but in general, I am a very big fan of this set. I honestly want to get this in some of the other colors that she has. I think the ribbed texture is a really nice touch. And again, very stretchy, very comfortable. And the color is extremely vibrant in person. It looks so good when I have a tan. So I'm a big fan of Rave With Me Hente's swim line. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm going to discuss this with each of the outfits. I actually would consider this a rave wear outfit as well. I wore this under this rave rainbow fishnet set that I got from Shop Beaglet. And I actually was planning to wear this potentially to Electric Forest under that fishnet set. So this can double as a rave outfit just as a matching set and you can accessorize it. So this could go either or. Okay, this next one is from Rolita Couture, which is one of my favorite rave clothing companies. Rosa, the owner, is a wonderful woman and her brand is all about sexy has no size. So it really caters well to all sizes, which is incredible. So you should hopefully find something in your size. So I got a one piece. This was from her Tropical Paradise collection. I love this cut that she does with her one pieces. It's got this really nice, sexy little ring in the front like right around your chest and then it's got a cutout in your midsection but it still is high-waisted so I believe this goes over my belly button and then in the back you have a tie string at the top a huge scoop in your back and this is pretty high cut on your legs as well but it's just really sexy I love rocking a one piece especially when I'm in like Vegas or on vacation and I just want to walk around and not have a care in the world I like having a little bit more coverage big fan of the pattern I just think this is so pretty it's perfect for summer with like the whole neon tropical vibe I don't have anything like this the one criticism I'll have about this again because I'm bigger on top when I put this on I've noticed that my chest sort of slips out underneath it so I get a lot of under boob with this bathing suit so I have to tie the top pretty tight to like keep me in place but I have noticed that I have to do a lot of like scooping and adjusting if you know what I mean ladies so that's one thing is like you're gonna get a lot of under boob with this and I do pop out of this a little bit but other than that, this makes me feel incredible. And again, I think you could wear this as a bodysuit to a music festival, no questions asked. I don't think anybody would notice a difference and it would probably be really comfortable to wear to a festival. So that one can go in either category as well. 
Alrighty, this next one is from Sweet Electric Wear. So Sweet Electric Wear is a smaller rave clothing company and she just recently launched her first swimwear line. So this is her first attempt at it. She's got a bunch of different styles and patterns which are all really, really pretty. So I highly recommend checking them out. When I saw she had a new collection, I jumped on it. So uh, she sent me this set. This is the Delilah set, you guys. I think out of all of the patterns today, this is most me this is my aesthetic like it almost reminds me of like my tattoo i love like stencil drawings and flowers and this has a little butterfly which i'm obsessed with butterflies and i just love how it looks like a watercolor um it comes with the matching very high-waisted bottoms again i'm a small in both of these but so pretty like black and white with little hints of watercolor in it and the little butterflies and flowers like I saw this pattern and I, it sold me immediately. I was like, this is stunning. I don't have anything like this. I don't have a white bathing suit. Again, similar to the Rave With Me Hente top. It's just a tie string top. There's no padding. So again, you know, not much support and you can see th some things through it, but it actually is nude on the back. So it's not too bad. The one thing I'll say about this is the string that goes around your body is on the shorter side and it's a lot thicker than some of the other ones so when I tie this around my body there's almost like no excess string so that's one thing the string I think could be a little bit longer and a little bit of a thinner material so that's my one criticism there and then on the bottoms if you're like a high-waisted queen you're gonna love this like this really sucks everything in definitely more coverage than the rave with me hente one is so just keep that in mind like to me i almost rather wear this as a rave wear outfit because if i'm gonna go to the beach and i want to tan this covers up a lot of my stomach so it definitely is on the higher waisted side but i honestly would probably wear this to a music festival as a little rave wear matching set all right, next we're gonna talk about Freedom Rave Wear. I have two bikini sets from Freedom Rave Wear. This first one I'm very, very excited about. So they came out with a sequin bikini collection, which I know a lot of people are gonna be very excited about. I mean, like, if you're a girly girl, this has you written all over it. I loved this, like, iridescent unicorn kind of coloring. I just think it's so pretty. I love the purple, the lavender purple. This is a size medium, and the bottoms I got in medium as well. So I do size up at Freedom Rave where I find that they run a little bit small. This is the opposite issue of the Sweet Electric Wear. They have so much string on it that it's, like, excessive. I had to tie it so many times, um, both around the neck and around the body. So that's one thing. It's a lot of string, and then it ties in the front as well. This bikini is on the skimpier side, ladies. So this is a true string bikini. The bottoms are V-tiny. Your butt's gonna be hanging out. Um, but it's definitely a look. It's a whole vibe. I absolutely love it. I love the strings on the side because then I can tie them and adjust them to the size of my waist and things aren't getting cut off and you don't have to be exact kind of about your sizing. So, I mean, aesthetically, so pleasing love how it looks love the color love the sequins it's very comfortable um so my one critique would really just be like the amount of strings on this bathing suit and again size up in my opinion i would definitely not wear that as a rave outfit <laughs> okay and the second item from them was considered a rave outfit is from my friend sunflower ravers new collection with freedom rave wear it is absolutely Stunning, you guys I mean when I saw this drop it totally represents her as a person she is a social media influencer and she is an absolute doll and sunflowers are basically her whole aesthetic so it's this beautiful sunflower pattern with this pretty gradient of like pinks and yellows and orange again I don't have anything like this and it's so bright and like I feel like yellow and orange just are happy colors again I went for a medium same thing, same thing as the other bikini tops, um, not as much support, there's no padding and you can kind of see through that a little bit. These bottoms, I did get the high-waisted cut, so they do come up, they cover my belly button, they are very high cut on the sides here and these show a little bit more in the back, so you definitely got some booty in this. But this is up there with some of my favorite um, patterns that Freedom Rave Wear has ever done. I don't have anything like this, it's so pretty and I just love this so much, so this Definitely I would wear to a rave and I would wear this to the beach 100% they actually were selling a beach towel with 
this collection that I want to buy, but it's sold out. Stretchy, but again, definitely um, be careful about sizing. I picked a medium because, you know, girls gain in a couple quarantine pounds, but it's fine. So I'm so happy that I did because this hugs me in all of the right places. If I got a small, I would be like sticking out like a sausage, you know what I'm saying? Super cute. I mean, I guess my only critique for this would be if I wore this to a music festival because it's a string top and it's not very supportive. Probably not great for me because I'm bigger on top. And like, if you're like me, things like this just cut into your neck after you wear them for a really long time. So to the beach, it probably wouldn't be an issue, but uh, maybe not the most supportive. I want to see what other styles of tops they come out with for that collection. Cause like a thicker strap would be perfect for a rave, but for the beach, perfection. So this last one I'm a very big fan of. One of my favorite festival clothing brands, Tasteful Girl, came out with a huge swimwear line. Actually, there's small bikinis and then there's regular swimwear. They also did active wear as well, but Tara, the owner, has an incredible eye for fashion. I seriously love every collection she comes out with. She always kills it. So when she dropped this swimwear line, I immediately knew I had to have it. It is beautiful. I love the cut of this. So I got this in black. Um, this has a little bit more of supportive straps. They're a little bit thicker. And then the front you have this little knot design and then a little cutout. So it's really, really sexy and shows like a little bit of under boob, but not too much. And then in the back, it's just straight across. So um, be careful with sizing on this. This is a medium. I sized up. I actually probably might have been able to do a small because I'm smaller like under my bust, but I'm like bigger in my chest. Um, but it honestly looks incredible. I went for black because you can't go wrong with a black bikini. It's forgiving, it looks sexy. I just thought this would be a staple in my collection once I saw the cut of this bikini. So I am I do not regret my decision at all. And look how cute these bottoms are. Like, oh my God, with the little silver rings on the side. They're tie again, which are my favorite types because I can adjust them to my hips. Um, and these have a little bit more coverage on the butt than the Freedom Rave wear, but still, a smaller bikini, not high-waisted. This is a traditional bikini. And this is the ribbed pattern as well. So you guys can see that. Really nice material, very, very stretchy. So I'm pretty sure it's medium top and small bottom. I think that's what I ended up doing. I'm not sure if these are all sold out. Hey guys, editing Emma here. So don't kill me. Her entire Solstice collection is sold out in every single color and style. I'm so sorry. But it just, it popped off. It did so well. Obviously, I really love the bathing suit. She does, however, have some of her smaller bikinis, which are adorable, still on her website. So I would check those out. Those have been selling really fast as well. And I will update the description box below or I'll pin a comment if she plans on doing a restock of the Solstice collection. But I'm really sorry right now. Everything is completely sold out on her site. Oh, you guys, that was very long-winded. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the video. If you guys are still here, go ahead and drop the little bikini emoji down below in the comments. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit late in summer here, but I wanted to wait till everything came in the mail and I had a chance to try everything on. And seriously, I love all of these outfits. I think it's incredible that these companies are pivoting and dealing with the circumstances that we're given right now without live events. And I really wanna support other female entrepreneurs and small businesses and just continue to shop small. So if you guys need to look for any new bathing suits or rave wear, definitely check out these shops and support them. I will leave links down below and if I have any affiliate codes, I will mark that down below as well so you guys can get some discounts. But I think that's all I have. If you guys wanna follow along with me on social media, my handle is at Emma Capotis on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter and at hey there Emma on Snapchat. If you're new here, I would also love it if you guys would consider subscribing to my channel and coming back to watch some more videos and I think that's all I have for you I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy and I will see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>